Welcome back to my channel. We are just about to head out and I thought I would quickly show you my outfit of the day because I really love it. I was having one of those moments where I just didn't know what to wear and then I threw this little look together and I thought it was perfect and it's so simple you guys know i love like simple minimal chic style this blouse i've actually had for a few years it's a silk blouse from lily silk such a good wardrobe staple and something that you can wear in so many different ways and then i paired it with these denim jeans these are straight leg jeans from zara the fit of these jeans are really really nice i will have them linked below they're pretty recent so they should still be available and I love the contrast of like the silky, super feminine, elegant shirt with the more laid back feel of these jeans. And then I've got my little classic Chanel beige bag. And then what I really think makes this look is good jewelry. So I've got my Monica Vinader and Misoma pieces on necklaces, bracelets, and my little classic gold hoops. I will make sure to have all of the items linked for you down below in the description box. But anyway, Mo and I are going for a little date night, but we're actually doing a date day. It just works better for Nalia's um, schedule right now and with the help that we can get. So we are going to do just a couple hours now in the afternoon and then still be home for her bedtime and bath and all of that. This guy. She is to us. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We're just by ourselves. I feel like I'm doing something bad right now. Same time, we're like, it's so quiet. You should normally go wild right now, but you're like sitting here and you're almost sleeping because like that's the moment where you really can calm down. Especially you. Have you seen when Nalia is with us? I'm like, I'm so turned on. So like on point with everything, like catering to what she needs. She's a very active baby, which I think most babies are, but she's like pretty active. Baby. And now when she's not here, it's like, you hear like crickets. I like, I almost I want to sleep. I don't know, like my nervous system is not used to like, not having to do something or not having to like respond right away. Yeah. So this is our view right now. We just ordered some food. It's so pretty. like a mini morning routine it's currently a little bit after seven in the morning just a very raw real like mini version of it we have been in a really good routine so i get up with her first when she wakes up we come to the living room the kitchen first we go to her room i change her diaper come out here and we will take out the dishes we'll play and i'll get her breakfast started and in the meantime mo is getting himself ready and then we'll switch and i'll go get myself ready and he will sit down and have breakfast with her
at this point we are all sort of ready for the day i've also had breakfast i recently uploaded a new what i eat in a day and in that video i share what i've been having for breakfast lately alongside some of my other favorite recipes so if you guys have not seen that i will have it linked down below and then after breakfast i will either head to the gym which i do three times per week and then on the days i don't go to the gym i get my work day started right away which is usually at around 9 a.m which is right now we finally have more consistent help now with nalia still just part-time just a few hours in the day but it makes such a difference we don't have any family here so you know we've been managing everything on our own and we both work full-time so the last two months were super super full-on but now we found someone really great so that means i have about two hours in the morning to get my work done or just do something for myself go work out or take meetings and just really like focus on my work life and i wanted to share this in a video for any new moms out there i feel like this part of you know being a working mom i feel like that's not something that's talked about much is like organizing help and organizing your time to be able to do both and i wanted to share with you guys what it looks like for us right now and also just like how mo and i manage the mornings like i said i will get up first with nalia and then mo will start getting himself ready i'll change her diaper take out the dishes like play with her make her breakfast and get everything set up and then mo will come out and have breakfast with her and also play with her and be with her and um, change her clothes get her ready for the day and yeah this sort of setup works really well for us because then we both get to have a little bit of time in the mornings for ourselves to feel refreshed wake up you know go to the bathroom shower and i keep it really simple i'm not putting these huge expectations for myself for my mornings i do simple and realistic things that i know are going to make me feel great that are important for my health and i don't overwhelm myself like i'm not in the stage of life right now that i get to have like a a one to two hour morning routine where i can do all the things that's just not you know the stage i'm in right now and that's totally fine I'm so embracing motherhood and having Nalia be so small. I know that she's going to grow up so quickly. I think it's really important to embrace like each stage of life and not be so like rigid. Like I need to do the same thing that I was doing before in order to feel my best. Like that that's just not how I run and I feel so much love and happiness just being with Nalia that she fills up so much of my cup and it's just the best way to start the day with her even though I'm not doing like all the things that I used to do before. One thing though that I'm super consistent with and is a real like non-negotiable for me, I do this every single morning, is I have lots of water first thing to really hydrate my body. It really wakes me up and it gets my digestive system going. It's so important to rehydrate after you've been asleep for so many hours. And this is something that I always do, I always prioritize. And I've linked this with another habit which is taking my probiotic, which is an incredible way to support my gut health and my overall digestive system and that is linked to so many other functions in the body including improved skin health which is really like my main motivator to keep taking it is the benefits that i see in my skin health plus it really helps to strengthen your immune health too and now with the weather changing it's getting colder that's something that also really motivates me is i want to stay healthy and feel good in my body i don't want to get sick that is also something that I think about when I'm taking the probiotic but it's really important to note that not all probiotics contain the same strains that support these functions in your body the probiotic that I take is seeds daily symbiotic it's actually a probiotic and a prebiotic and this is my favorite probiotic because of the strains that it contains the fact that it does help to support skin health digestive health immune health alongside other benefits and the other major reason I love this brand is the fact that the bacteria are guaranteed to make it all the way down to your colon which is where they need to be in order to have their effect and most probiotics on the market they're not able to survive the stomach acids and bile salts and enzymes that our stomach naturally produces and with not having a lot of time in the morning this is something that i can easily do to support my health of course my gut health my skin health my immune system so it's just a win-win for me and if you guys have not tried this out yet you can use my code annie j20 25 to save 25% off your first order and you'll get the whole kit as part of your first order so you will get this you will get their little mini travel vial and then you get refill packs every month so it's
it's very sustainable again the code is nej25 i will have a link for them down below in my description box if you guys want to check them out i would highly highly recommend so right now i am really excited i have a little bit of time and i want to do my fall wardrobe reset we used to actually have an entire room dedicated to our closet which is now nalia's bedroom so we have moved my closet into our bedroom and then most stuff is in the office and yeah i'm really excited to get the wardrobe switched out get my fall stuff in and take out my summer dresses put those away so i highly recommend doing this unless you have like a huge wardrobe space like that's amazing but if you are limited on space and honestly if you just want to be more streamlined with your days like when you open your closets you know you can wear everything like everything is seasonally appropriate i think this makes a huge difference like in your daily life or personally in my daily life let me know if you guys do the same or if you live in a place where you have like four very distinct seasons i think this is really fun to do and it also really gets me like to embrace the current season also this time i really want to be super intentional on the things that i have i want to go through and see what items i can donate and you know maybe things that have been just holding on to but that I'm really not wearing and I really want to have like a more minimal curated closet that I feel really inspired by also on this note I just want to share a little quick snapshot of the fall mood board so I created a board on Pinterest I'll see if I can pop it in here but these are a few looks that I'm really inspired by so that I know what I'm looking for in my closet and I can see like is there something here that I'm seeing over and over that I don't have in my closet so for example a blazer you can see that there's a few looks here with like a chunky blazer and also another thing that I'm really inspired by are these vests like to wear on top of shirts kind of like an oversized knitted vest but I think this is really nice to do because because then when I'm picking the things that I really want to have like front and center of my closet I know sort of the pieces that I should put there again so that everything is more minimal more streamlined I can you know open my closet and feel inspired to put a look together and it's not like overwhelming and then if you guys are new to my channel or if it's the first time that you're watching this kind of wardrobe reset or switch out all of my summer things I actually put them away in a bag that you can suck the air out of and then I put it in my suitcase and that way it protects the clothes and again it allows me to have space for the things that I can actually wear in that season and I do the same thing for like my winter jackets and things like that I want to keep them especially my bottoms and I think this is an important part to film and to include these jeans right here they clearly do not fit me do you guys see that I wasn't a huge fan of these jeans before I got pregnant I think they used to fit like a little better but I wasn't wearing them like all the time and it was sort of one of those things where I was like okay maybe I'm gonna like it in the future but now is the future and I'm trying them on again and not only do they definitely not fit me i'm just not so into the style of them like the bottom uh, bits are quite distressed and most importantly like to button these up i could probably do it but no like they're not comfortable and i just want to keep things that i definitely want to wear so these are going to be donated okay these jeans i really like and they fit me well these are from mango and they are like a high-waisted, wider fit jean. You can see a little bit there in the reflection. But these are really nice, they fit well. And I actually kind of forgot about these jeans. I think I got them the summer before I got pregnant with Nalia. And then of course, like going through pregnancy, you, you don't wear jeans and like afterwards, that's another reason I think it's really important to actually try on your clothes. Okay, these are the next pair. They do fit pretty well like here on the waist, but on, 
my upper legs here they're a little bit tight and i don't know if i would go for these over some of my other jeans and that's always like a big thing for me too like just being really realistic in the things that i'm that i have will i really wear these or can someone else use them more than me that's also like a thought process and for these yeah i feel like i don't know they're just not the most comfortable here so i think i'm gonna donate these too this pair i just recently bought and i know that they fit me really well so i'm just gonna fold those also something really important for me especially being postpartum i don't want to keep anything in my closet that doesn't fit me right or that makes me feel like triggered or bad in any way like about my body if something is too tight it doesn't fit like it just doesn't make me feel my best i'm gonna donate it i don't want it to take space and weight in my closet i just want to have things in there that make me feel my best look my best feel like confident and good in my body okay guys we have made a lot of progress in a short amount of time this was definitely like the speedy version this year but i'm so happy with how the space looks so as you can see here i just organized this closet here with all of my knits and sweaters and sweatshirts and joggers and then here on the bottom i have um drawers and i've got my workout clothes in here my workout bras, leggings, shorts, and in the last drawer here, I actually have things that I am not quite ready to get rid of yet, but I don't want them to be in like the front and center of my closet. But I did manage to get two bags worth of things to donate. Okay, and then this section I'm super thrilled with. So this is now where I have all of my bottoms. As you guys saw, these were mostly folded in the other closet before, but now since this is mostly what I wear in fall winter, I wanted to put them front and center here in my closet. And I love having the things that I'm wearing on hangers. I just feel like it's so much easier to see your items and it sort of looks more like a store like a boutique that's really the feeling that i want to create with my closet and with all my things just having it feel really beautiful and organized and you know easy to find things so i have all of these now hanging and then i also took out my longer coats from my suitcase and also hung these up too which is very exciting and just really makes it feel like fall is here <laughs> and then lastly for like the main parts of my closet this is where i have all of my tops and jackets and shirts and all of that you guys can see these are all of my like basic white tops that i'm really enjoying wearing at the moment just like fitted white tees i have a few different kinds here these are the ones i've been wearing on repeat lately and then some short sleeves and i'm trying to also like color coordinate per like the style of shirt and then down here i have some other tops that are more like specialty kind of tops like more occasion pieces that are a bit more like fun and different on my shirts jackets and things like that so wow this feels so good and then of course i also have a section in my closet for like my basics underwear socks pajamas things like that which is actually the last one on the side it's cut off here that doesn't really change for most of the year it's more like the main parts of my closet that i really like to freshen up for the new season and I think we did just that and as I mentioned as well I do have a few pieces that I've ordered that are coming in that I was really missing from my closet in order to create some of those looks that I'm really inspired by that I have in my um, Pinterest again personally I feel like that helps me to stay more focused and not overspend and buy too many random things so yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you guys and maybe inspires you to do something similar i know personally this kind of content even though i feel like i know the power of it like even when i see other people doing it too it just gives me a boost to get it done myself so hopefully that has inspired you guys too <laughs> later i've just put nelia down for her nap she is sleeping really deep very 
peacefully. And I've also had some lunch, as you guys saw, and I just made myself a little mint, iced mint tea, and this is so good. Mm. Also love this glass, by the way. I will have it linked down below, it's from Amazon. So I wanted to touch a little bit more on how I manage my work life right now with motherhood. Like I mentioned, we have more consistent help right now and I hope this topic will be helpful to other moms out there who also work from home. Again, I just wanna give you like a little glimpse into what it looks like for us right now. Also just to give you a little context if you are new to my channel, so my husband and I, we both work full time. I obviously have my YouTube that I film for very consistently. I upload once a week on Wednesdays. And then my husband and I both work full time as well on our brand Nourished 3. And when I say full time, I mean like really full time. Like we often work into the evenings. We work a lot of weekends too. So we have a lot going on. So this past year has been so interesting, like really learning how to manage my time in a different way. Still being super present for Nalia. She is my number one priority, but also finding time to manage my work my deadlines and things that I am responsible for and also if you've been following along we used to have somebody we would work with she started in the beginning of this year she was amazing with Nalia and she worked with us for about three to four hours per day in the afternoons but it was always clear that she would only work with us until a certain time because she was going to go back to study and that time just came so quickly and we were not prepared and it was so challenging to find someone new. So I also want to mention this, like, you know, it's not just so easy to find help. Like you really want to find a person you can trust, someone who is extremely responsible, you know, patient, clean, professional, but also, you know, a big hearted person. Obviously, you know, they're working with your child. So it's a lot of things that come into play and it's not just like so easy to find somebody and also you want to make sure that they have a good connection and that they like each other but anyway so we went about two months without having consistent help but now we found a girl like I mentioned and she comes to help out two hours in the morning which is when I was filming earlier and then she comes back in the afternoon for two hours as well so we've got a four hour total with a split and that works so well for us and also for her because she has her things that she needs to do during the day so it's just a perfect like win-win because then also during the day I can be with her I sit with her for lunch we can go run little errands and then I can also be there to put her to sleep for her nap rock her give her milk and all of that four hours is not technically that much but I know in those four hours I squeeze the lemon I am so efficient I can get so much done like if you're a mom and you have an hour two hours it is shocking like how much you can actually get done Done because you are so intentional with that time. I think that also helps me a lot with the feeling of mom guilt, just being as productive and as efficient as I can in that limited amount of time that I have and knowing also that that helps me to show up as an even better mom to Nalia. The fact that I've also worked on myself, worked on my career, that I know she is also going to see when she grows up, like that mom is working, that she is following her dreams, her passions. Hopefully that will be inspiring in and of itself to her as well when she gets a little bit older and of course also having some time to connect with your partner we went on our date night yesterday that does not happen very often I think the last time we did that was probably in June or end of May we had some friends over and we all went for dinner so that I think was the last time and before that it was the time when I actually filmed it which I think was in March so we really don't do that often of course you miss her like crazy and the mom and the dad guilt is definitely there but at the same time mo also says this a lot it's so important to nurture the foundation of the family which is your partner and you know the relationship that mom and dad have again the amount of time and the kind of help that you have that is so different from family to family but yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys in case you are curious i know for myself when i watch other moms i'm like how are they doing that like how are they also working finding balance and then there's this huge part of the puzzle which is getting help without that it would be close to impossible for me to be able to do the things that i need to do for my work you know to 
have that really focused time. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you so that you also have like more of a clear insight into my life in terms of like how I manage things. If you would want me to go further into this topic, I'm happy to do so. Just let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, I really want to give as much information as possible to help. Becoming a mom is just like you're in a whole new world. I think it also takes time to learn and to understand like how to manage yourself, to manage your responsibilities, and it takes a village. Like that saying is for a reason. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. Make sure to check down below in the description box for links to everything that I mentioned. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.